and yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start?
Stanley walked now look closely, the Stanley. Stanley. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room? Well, perfect example of poor level design, textbook mistake. It's the kind of thing you'd pick up on intuitively if you had even the most fundamental understanding of good and bad game design. But of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, I'm just going to make this easy on facility to end this injustice forever. Stanley pushed the number six. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your PlayStation. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Thank you. 